I'm Meg Blanchett with O'Reilly Media, and I'm here with Alessandro Molina, who is CTO of Oxon IT and a member of the Turbo Gears development team. And we're going to dive right in here. Alessandro, can you tell me what the current big project is at Turbo Gears? Yeah, we have been working a lot since the 2.1 release to improve various aspects of the framework, which were the one where we received more critics which were again, uh, against uh, the high number of dependencies of the framework and the speed of the frameworks. So we worked a lot on reducing dependencies and we worked a lot on improving the speed of the frameworks. So now we moved to like from 20, more than 20 dependencies to just seven and we moved uh, from uh, like three, four times faster uh, uh, framework routing. And uh, we also, as we had to rewrite the major part of the framework, we also decided to use this opportunity as a chance to uh, move to Python 3, which is going to be the next major thing in the uh, next year or so. And uh, also we removed the pilots dependency, which was the major uh, source of dependencies, third party dependencies. And uh, we had, uh, after all this work, which involved a lot of rewriting and refactoring of the framework, we have been able to test it on a private release with the guys at Fedora community that have been so kind to test on their infrastructure uh, our work. And uh, we had a bunch of other companies testing it on real time. And we have been able to release our first unstable preview release to the public like last month or so. so um, really happy that we have been able to perform all of these and it's a huge step forward for Turbo Gears. That's great. Um, I know that a big part of Turbo Gears is its MongoDB support, so can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, MongoDB support has been one of the core features in Turbo Gears since version 2.1. Uh, we have been able to introduce it thanks to the work of the guys at SourceForge who had to implement it for their own website, Alura, which has been the rewrite. Probably many people noticed that they rewrote their website from scratch. And the new project was named Alura and they relied on MongoDB. As they were using Turbo Gears, uh, they also implement the MongoDB assertion layer that now is standard inside Turbo Gears. And we have been able to introduce it as a officially supported technology in the framework. So it's not something you get from an extension or something like that. When you click start a new application in Turbo Gears, you are free to choose between SQL Alchemy for a standard SQL database or to start with Ming for uh, MongoDB support. Also, thanks to the fact that it is MongoDB support, it's the first citizen in the Turbo Gears world. Uh, it is also supported by the Turbo Gears admin. So you can, you have like a crude interface automatically generated for you where you can create an edit and delete entities uh, which are stored on your MongoDB for free when you quick start the project. The only side effect of being uh, on MongoDB currently is that pluggable applications on Turbo Gears don't support MongoDB yet, but we are working on that and I'm sure that in the next few months people will be able to use it on some pluggable applications. And what are some of the coolest things that developers can do with Turbo Gears? Uh, this is an interesting question. For me, one of the coolest things is the inventing mode of the Turbo Gears debug bar has been a really a, a mindset change in the way I experiment and try my layout and things on the website. Because if you work with two monitors and you have one as is user with your web browser to preview your changes and one with the, your code editor, your favorite code editor, uh, by naming the inventing mode, whenever you perform any kind of change to the code, the browser is updated on real time to reflect your changes. So you can truly experiment on your time by moving on for, for a few pixels or changing things on the fly and see how they get and if you like them more or less. It totally changes from the previous um, way of testing things or starting your application and looking at the ch change and testing again and so on to just edit your code. You like it, you keep it. You don't like it, you just edit it again and it changes on the fly. 
Uh, how do you feel being open source has affected Turbo Gears? Well, uh, being open source is probably one of the core uh, foundation that the library of a framework needs to have. And in my opinion, being open source is what solves the issue of having a single point of failure in the project. Whenever your project is owned by a company or a single person or any kind of stakeholder, uh, you are in a position when, where when this stakeholder loses interest or for business reason or any other kind of reason, he decides to change his targets and moves from that project to another one. That project is actually a zombie. You no, know, maybe it still has a user's community, but there is no one investing on keeping it forward, moving it uh, to the new technologies and keep it on pair with the evolving ecosystem of the language or even the technologies like web and so on. So I think that Turbo Gears have been able to constantly evolve since uh, 2005 only because it was open source, because we had actually changed the core committers of the project a, a few times, but the project still moved forward thanks to the fact that whenever someone loses interest on the project, there were someone else that stepped in and continued to move it forward and keep it on pair with the Python technologies and so on. So I think that being open source is something that is really, really fundamental for a library of a framework. If, it, if we are talking of a software, maybe it's less important because you, you are not relying the work of a lot of other people on that. While in the case of a framework, there are actually a lot of people that rely on you for keeping that technology alive and moving it forward. Um, to finish up, what do you see coming next for Turbo Gears? Well, as we did most of the core changes we wanted to do into the upcoming Tudor free release, I think that in the near future, the Turbo Gears community will focus more on the ecosystem surrounding the frameworks. So we are starting to work on improving the extension and provide a lot of pluggable application ready for the newcomers to the framework and to the users, less experienced users and so on. Usually I have seen that more expert uh, users and developers, long-term developers, don't like the approach of pluggable application because they think that they will limit their possibilities and how they can build their own software. But I think that if we are able to keep strict to single features inside each application, we can provide something which is flexible enough and it's easy enough to use for a newcomers and new web developers. So I really think that in the near future, we will see most of the effort involved in creating new pluggable applications, improving the existing ecosystem and so on. Well, thank you so much for talking with us today. Thank you for your question.